Dang, just when I thought I had all the leaves, there is a small one hiding under my clamp. Color along with me and let's get these leaves finished. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine, the artist behind Bigelow Fine Arts. This is the last leaf video, then I can move on to the bat, so let's get these colored up. If you are just jumping in, I have the playlist linked above so you can find the other videos in this fruit bat series. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can join in and color along with me. Today is more leaves, but it is also the last major day for leaves. After this, I will touch up the leaves just to get them all to stand out from the background and match better. So, in with my trusty sepia to begin putting in shadows for these two small leaves. I am assuming the top leaf is facing away from me, so I am seeing the lighter bottom, and that the other leaf is heading away from me, so I can see a bit of the top and some of the bottom. The branch is also covering a little of the top leaf, so I will have to work around that. I give the leaves a base layer of the earth green yellowish, just a light layer over everything. I bring in the yellow lemon for the main stem and rib, as well as the underside portion of the leaves. I give the top of the leaves a layer of the permanent green olive to start defining the difference in color between the two sides of the leaf. A little grass green for the bottom of the leaf and the rib just to add in a bit of green. A little more yellow lemon for the ribs and more grass green to cover. The leaves are pretty well defined at this point. Now it is a matter of getting things darker and blending everything out better. I come in with the pine green to add in more green to the top of the leaves as well as darkening up the shadows a little. I use the permanent green to continue blending out the edges of the shadows, taking them further into the center of the leaf. I do touch up the background every once in a while if I see something and I have the color in my hand. I add in more earth green yellowish to the bottom of the leaves and touch up the background. More background with the permanent green so I can make that one fuzzy shape in the background stand out just a little more. Just a little, not too much. I've got my sepia in hand and I want to begin working on the rest of the leaves. But first, I wanted to get my clip out of the way and wouldn't you know there was a leaf hiding under that clip? So there is another leaf to work on. Good thing I found it. If you've made it this far and have enjoyed coloring with me or just watching me find hidden leaves, I'd appreciate it if you give me a like and subscribe to stay informed of when I post more videos. It really helps me out. For the summer, I am posting three times a week and subscribing is the best way to stay in the loop.
So with my newly found leaf, I block in my shadows and add in a base layer of the earth green yellowish over the whole leaf. I am going on the assumption that I am seeing the bottom of the leaf, and the ribs seem to stick out more on the bottom of the leaf while the rib is more hidden from the top. I put in a layer of the yellow lemon, then I use the grass green to make sure it isn't too bright. A little more yellow lemon and grass green and this leaf is finished. Now back to the leaves I was actually planning on working on. I come back to the leaves down the right side of the page with the sepia and go through and block in the shadows on all of them. I can now come in with the yellow lemon and add in a layer over the bottom side of the leaves and the main rib. Several of the leaves appear to be showing their bottom to me, so I am treating them that way. But at least one of them I thought it was the bottom, and eventually changed it to reflect the fact that it was the top of the leaf.
Moving forward, I add in a layer of the earth green yellowish over the whole leaf. I am beginning to build the layers and the color. For the pine green, I want to get a layer over the shadows on the top part of the leaves and lightly blend that out at the edges. I'm focusing on the top of the leaves for now so I don't get the bottom too dark.
With the grass green, I want to add in a light layer and add in color over the whole leaf. If you watch carefully, I am mostly keeping the grass green to the shadowed parts, blending it into the highlight area. With the permanent green olive, I want to blend out the shadows even further into the highlight and add more color and depth to the shadows. I do the same thing with the pine green, deepening up the base of the shadows and adding in another layer over the blended section to smooth the blend out even further. More work on the bottoms. Most of the leaves at the top I assumed to be the bottom part of the leaf, so I am now coming in with the yellow lemon to add in another layer over the bottom of the leaf, as well as make sure the central rib and the stem have been covered. I hit the bottom of all the leaves, but the leaf in the bottom right corner, although I have so far been treating it like it is the bottom, I do later realize that it was actually the top of the leaf. I'll fix it later.
the top right leaf, I might have assumed that was a bottom side as well, but I am fixing it now by coming in with more permanent green olive to blend out the green into the center highlight more. Then I add in more sepia to darken up the shadows and bring up the contrast more. I touch up the background with the earth green yellowish. Every little bit helps and doesn't take as much time as having one video dedicated to just the background. I'm pretty much finished at this point. I do touch up the leaves a little, blending out the shadows a bit more and smoothing any sharp transitions. But for now, that is it for today. Thanks for joining me for even more leaf coloring today. Let me know below or on social media if you colored along. I'd love to know how you did. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, MeWe, and Patreon. Patreon has a short write-up, my palettes, and a list of the timestamps, and I've made them available for everyone. If you have any questions or page requests, please leave them below or reach out to me on social media. I put in a list of chapter breaks in the show notes, as well as a list of equipment I like to use. If you use any of my affiliate links, it really helps me out without costing you a thing. I want to thank you all so much for coming along and joining in with me on this coloring journey. I appreciate all my subscribers and look forward to more of you joining in and coloring along with me. Please like, share, and subscribe to help that happen. Until next time, happy coloring!